Hi, this is Diane Newton. This is The Take, and we're here at New York Comic Con with the ambassador of comics, legendary Jerry Robinson. Thank you so much for talking with us, Mr. Robinson, today. Sure, what, is this, what is this book that you brought us to Comic Con? Well, this is a book that was published by Abrams, just out, and written by a professor at the uh, University of Massachusetts. And it details my whole life and career. From the beginning, it, uh, I was working on Batman and created the Joker on up to my political cartoons, and book illustrations, painting, photography, you name it. Oh, this they did a beautiful, beautiful job. Absolutely, I can see that. And this would be a must for any collector or any fan of, of the series and the characters. Well, it uh, tells how I created the Joker in my political cartoon, I meeting with the five presidents from around the world, some 45 countries that I visited. So uh, it's, uh, in 88 years, <laughs> they dug into a lot of my background. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, I know that um, there are so many new generations that still love the same comics and to, you know, revisit the history and, and what, uh, how you developed it and how the characters have evolved over the generations. Right. It's wonderful to have it in a collection like this. It is. That's great. And they did a beautiful job of reproduction and, uh, and very thorough. Right? So I'm delighted with it. Um, may I ask you how you feel about the uh, latest adaptation, uh, like the, the Dark Knight, the Joker, how it was portrayed in that film? Well, I think uh, uh, Heath Ledger did a beautiful job. <coughs> Excuse me. Quite different from Jack Nicholson's portrayal. Absolutely. But that's as it should be. Each artist brings to it their own, their own interpretation. And I think in a way it's a tribute to the character that and it's, and it's uh, adaptable to different uh, viewpoints and different interpretations. Right. It must be so wonderful to be able to see these people you've created and, and live your dream and, and see them uh, remain what? so popular what? for yeah. such a long time. I went over to England uh, to see the filming of the Dark Knight, mm -hmm. the last part, and there was one amusing thing I thought you might like. Oh, please. Uh, they filmed uh, a part of it in Chicago, and okay. uh, there's one scene where the Joker throws Rachel out of the window of the tall building in Chicago. Right. And they shot the scene of uh, in Chicago where he throws it out the window. And in London, they recreated the whole facade of the building, and just to show Batman swooping down, saving her just before she hits the seat, the pavement. So she was thrown out of the window in Chicago and landed in London. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that's a pretty well, that's, far fall. That's movie making. That, that's movie magic and what right. a far fall that was. Right. Oh my goodness. Um, is there anything you want to tell us about what, uh, what's in the, in the works or coming in the future? Like if you might be coming to see us at next year's Comic Con? Sure. Well, uh, Dark Horse, another fine publisher, yes. just published two volumes <clears throat> of a, a newspaper strip, Daily and Sunday, that I did in the 50s. Okay. It was a science fiction strip called Jet Scott. And that just came out also, and that's featured at the, uh, the Dark Horse booth for publishing. And, the, and in January, they're coming out with the spring list of uh, my history of the comic strip. <laughs> oh, certainly. After a long day. <laughs> oh, I'm, I, I know the feeling. <laughs> and that book is called The Comics, an illustrated history of the comic strip, which took me over three years to write as the definitive history of the comics. And it's a beautiful edition. So that's what I'm finishing now. Your archives must be amazing, just <laughs> even your personal collection, from where you derive everything to to begin on a, a new project, chronicling yeah. What's, yeah. what's happened. Uh, well, I, uh, I'm only 88, so I have a few years that's, to go, I hope. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sure you do, to be able to you know, do something you love and be so creative. Yeah. That, that definitely adds to longevity. Yeah, well, that, that does, unless, unless I have something, project to work on to create. I would go grow older very fast. <laughs> oh, well, I'm so pleased that you were able to join us and so honored and, and keep it up. That's all I can tell you. 
Thank, Thank you, you so much, much, Mr. Robinson, really. Nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. Thank you. This is Diane Knudsen for The Take.